Since the dawn of civilization, the sun has had a profound impact on our lives. It shapes our sense of time, it affects our health. We've tried to harness its power and reveal its secrets. People have long dreamed of harnessing the power of the sun. In the middle of the Industrial Revolution, some far-sighted engineers were already thinking about what would happen when coal reserves ran out. In the 1870s, two French engineers, Mouchot and Fifre, exhibited a giant solar engine at a Paris exposition. This parabolic reflector focused sunlight onto a heat engine and ran a printing press, printing off the Journal du Soleil, which was handed out to passers-by. This was an amazing demonstration of the transformation of sunlight into mechanical work. Unfortunately, Mouchot and Fifre's invention never really got anywhere, as coal remained abundant and cheap, and their solar engine was expensive and inefficient. Solar power only started to become a viable technology in the 1950s, with the invention of photovoltaic cells, which could convert sunlight directly into electricity. In the 1970s, concern about oil supplies and environmental damage started to increase interest in solar power. In the late 1970s, President Jimmy Carter installed solar panels on the roof of the White House, and he made a rather poignant speech where he said that he hoped in decades to come these solar water heaters would still be providing clean, efficient energy to the White House. But when Ronald Reagan became president in the 1980s, almost in his first week in office, he had the solar water heaters removed from the White House roof. Now this story really neatly captures the political issues around energy that remain relevant to this day. In the modern world, concerns about climate change and dwindling fossil fuel reserves meaning that solar power is becoming an increasing part of our energy mix. In 2016, solar power was the fastest growing source of energy, and solar cells are becoming ever cheaper and increasingly economically competitive with fossil fuels. The future is almost certainly solar. Scientists only discovered the source of the sun's enormous power in the early 20th century. Physicists realized the sun's energy came from the fusion of hydrogen to form helium deep in the core of the sun at extremely high temperatures and pressures. Following this discovery, scientists dreamed of recreating these nuclear reactions on Earth. If you can crack this problem, you'll be able to create almost unlimited sources of energy without releasing any carbon dioxide or creating any long-lived radioactive waste. The quest to achieve nuclear fusion in the laboratory has been going on since the 1950s. In 1957, British scientists working with a reactor called Zeta announced to the world that they had achieved nuclear fusion. The newspapers all over the world were full of stories of a massive breakthrough that was going to transform energy forever. It was a huge moment of national pride for Britain, which had just emerged from the Second World War and was no longer a major world power. But a year later, the British scientists working at Zeta had to make a humiliating climb down and admit their results had been misinterpreted. They hadn't really achieved nuclear fusion. The attempt to harness nuclear fusion continues to this day. A huge nuclear reactor known as ITER is currently being built in the south of France and is supposed to demonstrate the technology required to build a commercial fusion reactor. The technical challenges are enormous, but if scientists can crack the problem of nuclear fusion, it will utterly revolutionise how we generate energy in the future.